Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to see one past paper question based on distance time graph. Let's get started. Let's see one past paper question. This is the distance time graph. The graph is given to us and the graph starts from 0 to 125 seconds and my distance goes from 0 to 150 degree and this is the graph we have given. The diagram shows the XT graph for a runner where displacement X is measured in meters and time T is measured in seconds. On the axis below, draw the velocity time graph for the runner. We need to draw the velocity time graph for this distance time graph. As we know that if we have to plot the velocity time graph, the slope of the line will give you the velocity in distance time graph. I need to calculate the slope of this line. To find the slope of this line, I need these coordinates. What are these coordinates? The x coordinate is 50 and the y coordinate is 100. Let's write on the coordinate here. This is 50 and this is 100. This coordinate is 0, 0. If I have to calculate the slope of the line, slope of the line will be given as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Suppose this coordinate is x2, y2 and this coordinate is x1, y1. I'll apply my formula here. That will be written as 100 minus 0 over 50 minus 0. That will be equal to 100 over 50. If you cancel it out, my answer will be 2 here. That will give you 2 meter per second. That means his velocity is 2 meters per second. Next, we will calculate the velocity from the time 50 to 65 seconds. In this case, the person is not moving at all. Velocity is differentiation of the displacement dx by dt. Our distance is 100 meters. If I calculate the velocity here, velocity will be given by dx by dt. My x value is constant here, which is 100. We know that the differentiation of the constant function is 0. So my velocity is 0. Let's see the slope of the line from 65 seconds to 85 seconds. I need to get this coordinates. Let's write on the coordinates here. This coordinate will be 6500. This coordinate will be 85150. Let's write on the answer here. This is 65100. This will be 85150. Shall we find out the slope of this line? Slope of this line will be given as 150 minus of 100 over of 85 minus of 65. Let's calculate this. 150 minus 100 will give you 50 over 85 minus 65 is 20 here. 0 got cancelled from here. 5 over 2 is 2.5. My velocity is 2.5 meter per second. Let's calculate the slope of this line. What is the coordinates of this point? The coordinates of this point is 125, 0. Let's calculate the slope of this line here. We will first suppose that this is x2 and this is y2. And this one is x1 and this is y1. The slope of this line will be given by 150 minus of 0 over 85 minus of 125. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This will be given as 150 over negative of 85 minus 125. 40. Let's write down answer here as 40. 0 got cancelled from here. This will be negative 15 over 4. If you divide it, your answer will be equal to negative 3.75. My velocity is negative 3.75 between 85 to 125. Let's plot all the values on the velocity time graph here. Velocity, the first velocity is 2 meters per second from 0 to 50. Let's draw the line here. From 0 to 50, this is going at 2 meters per second. In the next case, my velocity is 0 when you are going from 50 to 65. We will plot the line here because my velocity is 0. In the next case, my velocity from 65 to 85, my velocity is 2.5 meter per second. Let's draw the line at 2.5. This is the line 2.5 here. This one is 2.5. My line starts from 65 
to 85 at 2.5 meter per second. From 85 to 125, my velocity is negative 3.75. Let's plot it here. This is negative 3. This is negative 3.5. This in between them, this will be negative 3.75. I need to draw the line here from 85 to 125 in between those two. This is my velocity time graph for the given distance time graph. Let's see the next question here. Find the total distance covered by the runner in 125 seconds. I need to see the distance covered by the runner. As you can see from here, the runner starts from 0 and he went till 150 meters. And again, he reached back to the original position. How much distance he covered? He covered 150 and then again 150. Total will be 150 plus 150. That is equals to 300 meters. My answer will be 150 plus 150 which is equals to 300 meters. He covers 300 meters. Let's see the next question here. The displacement x meters of a particle from a fixed point at time t is given by x is equal to 6 cos 3t plus pi by 3. Find the acceleration of the particle when time is equal to 2 pi by 3. We have to find out the acceleration. Before we find out the acceleration, I need to find out the velocity. What is my velocity? Velocity is dx by dt. We have to differentiate the function. The function x is given by this function. I need to differentiate this one. My velocity will be given by dx by dt. 6 is a constant. It will be remain as it is. I need to differentiate cos function. d by dx of cos x is minus sin x. My answer will be here negative sine of 3t plus pi by 3. We need to differentiate each and everything. Still, I need to differentiate this inner part. If I differentiate this 3t plus pi by 3, pi by 3 is a constant function. So my differentiation will be 0. You are differentiating 3t in terms of t. My answer will be 3 only. That you need to multiply this with 3. Your answer for velocity will be minus 18 sine 3t plus pi by 3. That will be the answer for velocity. Let's calculate the acceleration here. Acceleration is given as dv by dt. We already find out v. I need to differentiate one more time. Minus 18 will remain as it is here. Differentiation of sin x is cos x. I have to differentiate sin x here. My answer will be cos x. That will be equal to cos 3t plus pi by 3. I need to differentiate the inner part also. If I differentiate this, my answer will be 3, which I need to multiply with this function. Minus 18 multiplied by 3 is minus 54. That will be written as minus 54 cos 3t plus pi by 3. This is the answer for acceleration. But I need to calculate the acceleration when t is equal to 2 pi by 3. I need to substitute the value t as 2 pi by 3. Let's substitute the value here. Acceleration will be given as minus 54 cos of 3 times of 2 pi by 3 plus pi by 3. 3 got cancelled from here. My answer will be minus 54 cos 2 pi plus pi by 3. We have learned that how to calculate this angle here. 2 pi, the value of cos will not change. Cos will remain cos only. 2 pi plus I am reaching to the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, all the things are positive. So, cos is also positive. My answer will be here, positive cos pi by 3. Let's write down the answer here as negative 54 cos pi by 3. What is the value for cos pi by 3? Cos pi by 3 is half. Let's write down here minus 54 and half. If you divide it, your answer will be 27 here. My acceleration is given as minus 27 meter per second square that will be your answer thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below bye bye everyone